Hey kitty cat. Good morning. How do I get to get more light in here? Okay, that's better. So good morning. I think it's um, a little after 6 a.m. It's a Sunday morning, so I don't have to go to work today. So this is a day in life of this gardener anyway. I am going to drink my coffee, if you don't mind, and then we can get started. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you can see it. I do have a sprinkler system just to water the corn thoroughly while I'm hand watering everything else. So while I'm out here watering, I inspect my plants, like my okra. So the other day when I did my tour, there were signs of pest activity, but these are all new leaves and there are no signs of pest activity on them. These look like these are just the leaves from the other day. So, it all looks good. I don't have to uh, spray again. Oh. Oops. A couple of zucchini. So, you really have to look closely at your zucchini has the foliage tends to be big and hide the zucchini. It tends to be thick. So I picked the zucchini. I try to pick them when they're small because my husband eats them raw. He likes them small. But sometimes they get out of hand and they get too big and oh there's another one see how they hide Is there any more in there? So I pruned the zucchini, but as you can see, they keep growing foliage. So I, like I said before, I planted way too many zucchini, but my sunflowers are gorgeous, aren't they? Oh wow, I've got tomatoes to pick. All right, so let me continue on with my inspection. So I, so I inspect everything. So for one thing, it's so hot. I don't wanna come out of here if I don't have to. I see if things are getting close to harvest and they are, the okra is anyway. The potatoes are probably still a few weeks out. See how they're starting brown? Well, my bush beans are still producing. I'm gonna have to come out here 
So I have three quart size bags of beans already in the freezer in the second week of June. And I've got pole beans and I've got pinto beans. But the beans look good. I mean, there's a few I have to come harvest, but nope, they look good. So one of the things I normally do while I'm out here is pull weeds. But as you can see, they've gotten completely out of control. So I'm not pulling them. I normally would. I mean, I'll pull the ones in the beds like this. But the ones in the pathways, I'll deal with another time. So I continue on with my inspection, pulling weeds as I go and look and see if there's any zucchini that needs to be harvested. Because, God, I planted way too much zucchini. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up. It just might be um, heat. So I added this for my pole beans to climb on. Let me pull away so you can see. All right, so the pole beans were a last minute decision and everything else was the afterthought, the climbing trellises. So I'm gonna, re, I'm gonna do that better next year. <laughs> All I ever talk about is what I'm gonna do better next year, but this is a learning experience for me. This is only my second year of gardening. So I started doing this with no idea what I was doing. So, I'm always constantly trying to, ow, bug. Sorry, bug bit me. Um, without any thought about how I was gonna do this, so I'm always constantly trying to do it better. So, next year I'm gonna build a full on trellis before I plant the pole beans. So, my pinto beans are looking good. Pinto beans, you can't pick until they turn yellow and dry up. But, remember this is the bag I grew out of that little handful of store-bought beans and they've grown very nicely. Oh, another zucchini. My husband's sick of eating zucchini now. So as you can see, and somewhere in the middle of all that foliage, ah, there it is. Let me see if I can zoom into it. Do you see it? Do you see it right there? I have a pumpkin and it's almost the size, I think of a soccer ball. And I have pumpkins and I also have watermelons popping up everywhere. More pumpkins than watermelons. See the little baby? So next year, I'm going to turn, I'm going to move my pumpkin patch over to the left. And this is all going to be pumpkin patch. I'm going to start preparing the soil this winter in, in um, anticipation of having a pumpkin patch. And I'm going to show you that when I do that. All right. So I have a bunch of more chores to do today, but they're really kind of unrelated to the garden. I've got to mow, I'm redoing doing my patio, and it's hot. So I may only do some of it and come back in. I'm not working on my compost. I'm really not pulling the weeds. It's the hot part of summer and I don't enjoy it. I don't like it. I, I mean, yeah, it has to be done. I need to turn the compost. I need to pull the weeds. But just like last year, this part of the summer, I just let things go. I will go out in there and harvest. I'll inspect for disease. I'll inspect for pests. And I'm getting back in here. I, I measured, um, kind of measured, 
So, but my garden's about 750 square feet, which is bigger than my last apartment. And we're adding another 250 square feet this winter to it. So it's gonna be a straight thousand. <clears throat> so I spent about two and a half hours doing my deep watering. Now I only do that every third day or so. So I don't want you to think that watering, that a garden is overwhelming. Have a smaller garden. I chose to have this big of a garden. and. I think it's a fairly big garden for a suburban garden, but who knows, maybe it's not. Maybe other people have bigger gardens. But we're going through a dry spell, so I have to go out there and make sure everything is watered. Um, I have to check for pests. I have to check for any blight or disease because I'm going to want to separate those plants from the rest. But that's not every day. I, I kind of fooled you with the, the title. This is Sunday. I don't work on Sundays. So I can spend three hours out there. Usually I'm out there less than an hour. But you should really go in your garden every day and check. Because I skip days. In the heat of the summer, I tend to, to just not go out there. It's just hot. And it doesn't take long for bugs to get in your garden and yeah it doesn't take long and um i didn't show you the peace trees i didn't show you the the bushes so yeah i've got a ton going on out there but that's it i'm in the house now i'm gonna cool off a little bit then i'm gonna get the rest of my yard work done early before it gets hot well before it gets brutal hot but gardeners, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. I might get this up tonight. I may not get it up till tomorrow night. And that's a whole nother video, the day in the life of a, a um, YouTuber. But I'm gonna do my best to work all afternoon um, in the air conditioning, um, editing this and getting it out to y'all tonight. But happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and I'll catch y'all in the next one, bye.